hello out there welcome again to this tutorial on logarithmic equations this is part three if you are joining us now check the description section of this video to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on logarithm and logarithmic equations so we have a problem here solve the following pairs of logarithmic equations so we have the first pair of uh, logarithmic equations and the second pair. So we start with uh, A. Um, starting with A, we consider the first equation. So considering the first equation, we are going to express this in index form. So we have it as 3x plus y is equal to 3 to the power of 2. If you look at this, we pick this first, this second, and this third, where this is 3x plus y is equal to 3 raised to the power 2. Then simplifying this, we have 3x plus y is equal to 9. We call this equation 1. Then we are done with the first equation there. We go to the second equation. I have to express this in index form again. So we have 2x minus y is equal to 4 to the power of 0. So we also simplify this. Since any number to the power of 0 is 1, therefore we have 2x minus y is equal to 1. Then we call it equation 2. We now consider equation 1 and 2. So this is going to be solved simultaneously. So we have 3x here, 2x here, plus y and minus y. The operation on 1 and 2 that will eliminate y is plus. So we say equation 1 plus 2. So that adding the corresponding terms, that is 3x plus 2x is 5x plus y minus y gives 0, so y is eliminated. 9 plus 1 gives 10. Dividing both sides by 5, x is equal to 2. So we are done finding the value of x. We go ahead to find the value of y by substituting x is equal to 2 in any of the equation. So it is convenient to substitute x in 1. So putting x in 1 and our x is equal to 2, we have it as 3 into 2 plus y is equal to 9. So 2 times 3 is 6. So we have y equal to 9 minus 6. Since the 6 is positive coming to the right hand side, it becomes negative. So y is equal to 3. And uh, that is the solution of problem A. Then we go to problem B. For problem B, we have log 8 base x plus log 25 base y is equal to 5. And 3 log 8 base x minus log 25 base y is equal to 7. So what we do here is we pick individual equation and label it. So we have log 8 base x plus log 25 base y is equal to 5 as equation 1. And the second equation, which is 3 log 8 base x minus log 25 base y is equal to 7. Now, this is a pair of simultaneous equations. And since this is log 25 base y and this is log 25 base y, it is only the signs that are different. So we can just say equation 1 plus equation 2. Adding the corresponding terms now, we have log 8 plus 3 log 8. It is just the same thing as saying m plus 3m m plus 3m 
and that will give us a uh, 4m therefore we have it as 4 log 8 base x and log 25 base y minus log 25 base y is automatically 0 so 5 plus 7 gives 12 um, since this is 4 times log 8 base x I can divide both sides by 4 so that we now have it as log 8 base x is equal to 3 since 12 divided by 4 gives 3 and uh, solving for x here we can then express this logarithm in index form where we have 8 is equal to x raised to power 3 expressing 8 as index form of 2 we have 2 raised to power 3 is equal to x raised to power 3 the indices are equal therefore the bases are equal so we have x to be equal to 2 so we are done finding the value of x so we can now go ahead to find the value of y i want to label this as equation 3 since log 8 base x is 3 and i have log 8 base x here I can just substitute, I will just say put 3 in 1. Putting this 3 in 1 so that wherever you see log 8 base x, you put 3. So that's going to give us 3 plus log 25 base y is equal to 5. I take this to the right hand side. I have log 25 base y is equal to 5 minus 3. That gives log 25 base y is equal to 2. So expressing this in index form, I have 25 is equal to y raised to power 2. And 25 can be expressed as index form of 5 to be 5 raised to power 2 is equal to y raised to power 2. Since the indices are equal, therefore the bases are equal. So that y is equal to 5. And that is the end of solution to problem B. And this is where we are ending this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get links to other videos on logarithm and logarithmic equations. Your subscription to this channel is also important to us. Until we come your way again, Goodbye.